And aside from the Bluetooth, you also have this uh, passive input jacket, which will bypass the wireless... The wireless cat. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matthias, and today we are going to review the Drop THX Panda headphones. Quick disclaimer. This is not a sponsored video, so I'm not getting paid to talk about these headphones, but I did receive this set in order to make this review. So before we talk about my sound impression, let's talk about the technology in these uh, Drop THX uh, Pandas. So these are closed back headphones, as you can see, so they have a very strong acoustic isolation. And according to Drop, these are the first, uh, world's first wireless audiophile system, a wireless headset. And they feature this new THX AAA amplifier, distortion-free sound, but also an amplifier which consumes less battery, which means more listening hours for you. You charge these via USB-C and you get around 30 hours of wireless listening. So the Bluetooth chipset is a Qualcomm QCC5125 chipset. It supports LDAC, APTX, APTX HD, AAC and also SBC. But bear in mind that there's no onboard DSP on these headphones. But uh, to me that's only a good, it's a feature because uh, you will not have any additional coloration on the sound. The Drop Panda THX also have a planar ribbon planar magnetic drivers. And aside from the Bluetooth, you also have this uh, passive input jacket, which will bypass the wireless... The wireless cat, which will bypass the, the wireless uh, system, the Bluetooth system, so you will only be using an external amplifier. These uh, Drop THX Pandas feature a dual stereo microphone system, and uh, I actually made a few calls with the Drop Pandas and they worked just fine. But if you want to improve your, your audio, maybe for gaming, you can buy this uh, boom mic separately from Drop Panda and you just uh, attach it like so. And now we have effectively transformed these headphones into a gaming headset. And as you can see, you also get this little windshield on the, on the microphone, on the boom mic. In my experience, you don't have to have the windshield attached to the boom mic because you don't have the mic in front of you. It's a little bit on the side. So you won't get this, that the strong P sounds directly into the, into the microphone. To control the Drop Panda, you make use of this uh, joystick up here. It's used to turn it on and off and uh, it's like a direction pad. So you can flip it to the sides to switch songs and up and down to uh, increase and decrease uh, volume. You can also push it to accept the incoming calls. Uh, the pandas work seamlessly with your smartphone, so you can use it with voice assistant to send uh, text messages, set alarms and ask for directions. Right, so enough about the tech talk. Now let's talk about the actual sound quality and uh, my sound impression of the Drop THX uh, Panda. I've actually been using these as my main headphones now for a few weeks. And I've been using them for music production, sound design, mixing and mastering, and also for listening to melodic dubstep, different classical musics, and the top 50s of Spotify, obviously. And I can say that they perform very well across the whole spectrum of different genres. Right, so speaking of sound quality. Before shooting this video, I was listening to Olafur Arnulds on the Drop Pandas. And uh, if you don't know Olafur, he's an Icelandic producer making this really delicate music. And I was listening to this song called Only the Winds, and uh, it features piano, then some cello, and you also have a synth bass and some synthesizers in the background. And we're with a very light uh, orchestral arrangement with uh, strings and some woodwinds. And all the details came across very well on the Drop Pandas. So I can highly recommend it to go and listen to these delicate kind of producers like Olafur Arnolds if you really want to hear the quality of the THX AAA amplifier. The Pandas also don't feature that uh, regular V-shape kind of sound signature, which you can hear on other Bluetooth headphones. That means that you would have a stronger bass and a stronger high end. But they do have a very nice uh, mid-range representation, and that means that you can hear details in vocals, uh, guitars, percussion, etc. very well on the, on the Pandas. I did feel that the low end was a little bit uh, 
not muddy, but it was a little bit less detailed than the mid-range, obviously. And I also think that the high end was a little bit lacking, but then again, if I listen to some of my other reference headphones, it can be a bit tiresome to have that uh, really high end sparkle all the time. So I felt that these were not that fatiguing, which is uh, a very nice uh, feature of a headphone set. I did compare the Pandas with my other uh, wired reference headphones, which is from Olo Audio. This is the S4X, which is their top model. And this one has a very, very nice, uh, uh, you know, straight frequency response. So uh, yeah, but they're wired, so it's not uh, really, uh, it's not really fair to compare them to the Drop Pandas. But I wanted to compare them because it's in the same price range because it's it's around four hundred dollars for for the Drop Pandas. Right. So in comparison with other Bluetooth headphones, I think that the Drop Pandas stand up really well. And due to this THX uh, AAA amplifier, you have a really nice uh, undistorted uh, sound quality. And if you want to make the most out of these pandas, I recommend that you activate the LDAC on your smartphone to get uh, a higher quality playback. But bear in mind that uh, if you have other Bluetooth devices around, it can interfere with, uh, with the LDAC if you have that activated. Right, so in conclusion, these are probably the best wireless Bluetooth headphones that I've listened to to date. I think that it has a very nice frequency response across the whole spectrum, although it's a little bit more happy in the mid-range as I talked about earlier. But you can hear all the details in vocals and guitars and percussion, etc. It's a little bit weak on the higher register and the lower register, but it's still enough detail to, to use it for music production and and even for listening to that delicate music like Olafur Arnulds. Right, so the build quality is nice. It's a bit anonymous, but I think that uh, the quality is uh, sturdy. It's a little bit thin here on the, on the padding on the headband, but I still feel it's uh, comfortable, although I've been wearing it for longer hours. The battery time is around 30 hours, which is super nice. And this is due to this new THX AAA technology, so that's... Uh, that's a really nice addition to these headphones. Right, I'd also like to mention that Drop is working with Sonarworks to create a parametric EQ application for mobile phones, which you can use in combination with the Drop Panda. So hopefully we can have the app out soon and try that out in an upcoming video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like and the notification bell so that you get notice as soon as I release new videos. Now you can continue and watch my next video. My name is Matthias. See you in the next one. Bye.